Bonjour tout le monde. Hello everyone. This morning, we awoke to terrible news coming out of Pakistan. A Pakistan International Airlines plane carrying, carrying over 100 passengers crashed in a residential neighborhood in Karachi. My heart goes out to all the victims and their families. Our thoughts are with Pakistan today. We're starting a bit earlier this morning because we have a cabinet meeting early this afternoon. So thank you all for joining us now. Last night, the Premiers and I held our 10th weekly call since the beginning of the crisis. And we talked about what's been on everyone's mind lately, how we can safely reopen the economy. Over the past few months, Canadians have been doing a great job of staying at home, maintaining physical distancing, and listening to public health advice. And that means we can restart some activities, but we're not out of the woods yet. COVID-19 remains a serious health threat. We have to proceed with caution and keep listening to science or we risk, risk losing the progress we've made. So today, I want to outline what we know needs to happen to successfully reopen the economy and adjust to our new normal. First, we need to continue scaling up our testing capacity so we can quickly identify new cases and isolate them. We're working with provinces and territories to expand testing by procuring things like reagents and swabs. While some provinces have the capacity to meet their current needs, we're collaborating to ramp up testing so we can protect Canadians and effectively manage future outbreaks. Second, we need to accelerate our ability to do contact tracing. After we've confirmed and isolated new cases, we have to get in touch with everyone who may have been exposed to the virus and make sure they take measures to quarantine and monitor themselves for symptoms or get tested. While provinces and territories are managing testing and contact tracing differently, our government has trained federal employees who can make 3,600 contact tracing calls a day, seven days a week. Statistics Canada has also an additional 1,700 interviewers ready to go who can make up to 20,000 calls a day. These federal resources are available to assist provinces and territories with any surges or backlogs or challenges they have in contact tracing. We're already helping to make calls in Ontario and stand ready to help anywhere else. Third, we have to ensure that data collected across jurisdictions is shared between provinces and territories. This will help us track the spread of the virus, adapt our response accordingly, and save lives. Aujourd'hui, je veux souligner ce qu'il faut faire pour réussir la réouverture de l'économie et s'adapter à notre nouvelle réalité. Premièrement, on doit continuer d'augmenter notre capacité de dépistage pour qu'on puisse rapidement détecter et isoler les nouveaux cas. Deuxièmement, on doit être capable de retrouver plus rapidement les gens qui ont eu des contacts avec des personnes atteintes de la COVID-19 pour qu'ils puissent s'isoler et surveiller leurs symptômes ou se faire tester. Bien que les provinces et les territoires effectuent le dépistage et la recherche de contacts différemment les uns des autres, notre gouvernement a formé des employés fédéraux qui sont prêts à aider à retrouver les gens qui ont été exposés au virus à travers le pays. Ces employés peuvent effectuer 3600 appels par jour, 7 jours sur 7. En plus, Statistique Canada a rendu disponible 1700 intervieweurs qui pourraient effectuer jusqu'à 20 000 appels par jour. On a déjà effectué ces appels en Ontario et on offre notre aide à tous ceux qui en auraient besoin. Troisièmement, on doit faire en sorte que les données recueillies par les provinces et les territoires soient partagées à l'échelle du pays. Ça va nous aider à suivre la propagation du virus, à adapter notre réponse en conséquence et à sauver des vies. Now, Canada is a vast country, and some regions have been hit harder than others by the pandemic. That's why plans to relax restrictions vary from one jurisdiction to another. But in order for people to move around freely and start getting back to normal life, we have to improve our ability to quickly pinpoint the virus and isolate it. All Premiers recognize how important this is, and I want to thank them for their engagement in this issue. 
Since the beginning of this crisis, all jurisdictions have been working towards one common goal, protecting Canadians. The next phase of our collaborative efforts is on testing, contact tracing and data collection. And I've told the Premiers that the federal government is here to support, facilitate and fund this important work. Taking strong, collaborative action to expand testing and contact tracing is important for both Canadians and businesses to have confidence that we're on the right foot. They need to know that we have a coordinated approach to gradually reopen that is rooted in science, evidence and the ability to rapidly detect and control any future outbreaks. Pour que les gens puissent recommencer à se déplacer plus librement et reprendre leur routine, on doit être en mesure de détecter et d'isoler rapidement des nouveaux cas. Tous les premiers ministres savent à quel point c'est important et on partage leur avis. Depuis le début de la crise, tous les ordres de gouvernement travaillent ensemble pour protéger les Canadiens. La prochaine phase de notre collaboration sera axée sur le dépistage, la recherche de contacts et le partage de données. Et comme je l'ai dit à mes collègues à travers le pays, le gouvernement fédéral sera là pour appuyer, faciliter et financer ce travail. C'est important pour les Canadiens comme pour les entreprises de savoir qu'on collabore pour accélérer le dépistage et la recherche des contacts. Les derniers mois ont été très difficiles pour tout le monde parce qu'on passe une période d'incertitude et la vie a basculé du jour au lendemain. On a donc mis en place des mesures pour aider les gens pendant la crise, que vous soyez aux études ou à la retraite, avec ou sans emploi. Si vous avez besoin d'aide, mais vous ne savez pas trop par où commencer, on a un nouvel outil en ligne pour vous aider. Vous n'avez qu'à vous rendre au canada.ca baroblique coronavirus prestations pour y accéder. Vous pouvez répondre à quelques questions et l'outil vous donnera une liste de programmes auxquels vous êtes admissible. Over the past few months, we've set up a number of programs to help everyone from students to parents to seniors get through this crisis. If you need support but you're not quite sure where to start, we now have a new online tool to help you. Just go to canada.ca slash coronavirus benefits. You'll find a, a list of a few simple questions and the tool will generate an array of programs for which you may be eligible. I want to close today by addressing the significant increase in acts of racism against Asian Canadians. Over the past few weeks and months, businesses, buildings and statues have been vandalized. People have been verbally abused and physically attacked. It's unacceptable. Hate, violence and discrimination have no place in Canada. This is not who we are as Canadians. I want to thank those who have stood up against violence and exposed what is happening in our communities. We need to speak out against racism wherever it is found so we can stop it. To Asian Canadians across the country, know that we all stand with you. We will not let hate divide us. Merci tout le monde.